Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then consider hitting that subscribe button. So for today's retro review, we're gonna be talking about Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Now, like most of my, well, like all of my retro reviews, this is a first time watch. It's kind of what this playlist is all about. So in Austin Powers, we're pretty much set in the 60s, giving my little inspired look here. And then we do flash into the 90s. So again, we're in the 60s, Dr. Evil, he kind of puts himself in this Cairo pod. Either way, he freezes himself with his evil cat and throws himself out into outer space and Austin Powers first pretty much goes into hibernation. I don't know, not hibernation. He freezes himself as well in case the world ever needs him to fight Dr. Evil Strange. Apparently he is the only one that can stop him. So they are basically uh, frozen for about 30 years. Uh, Dr. Evil, um, you know, comes out from outer space, lands, back on earth because he's in outer space and so this prompts the government to unfreeze austin powers and now he is very a uh, groovy and baby and behaving in the 90s where of course it doesn't really work because we're in a whole other different decade and things have changed now this is definitely a spoof on like spy movies i guess you can say like the 007 movies but i don't think it's just generally the 007 just generally spoofing spy movies. Now me, I do love, love, love comedy movies. That's honestly my favorite genre of movies. It's like comedy, animation, and action. I do especially love stupid humor, spoofs, parody. I love those, but, but, big but, it has to be like a certain type because there are stuff like Austin Powers comedy, right? And then there's stuff like Marlon Wayans comedy. I gravitate towards Marlon's like dumb comedy spoofs. Like I absolutely love Scary Movie, like the first two, Haunted House, uh, freaking Keanu. I love that movie. That's with uh, Keenan Pell. And that's the kind of humor as far as like dumb humor goes. That's what I like. That's what I gravitate to. Now, Mike's comedy is on a whole other type of level and unfortunately this did not work for me um first of all i don't think it's aged very well i i just it hasn't aged very well i mean you can obviously argue with it but a lot of things that are happening in the movie just are really outdated this movie obviously obviously worked very very well in the um early or in the late 90s early 2000s there are i believe three Austin Powers movies. I don't really see myself watching the remaining two. I kind of do want to see it because I really wanted to see Mini Me. Um, I was like, waiting for him here, but apparently he's not in this one. Y'all can let me know where, which movie he comes out in. And if it happens to be the third one, like do I have to see the second one to understand that? Because I feel like these movies, probably you don't have to see the previous one to understand them i don't know yeah let me know down down below so this movie is rated pg-13 as you would have seen in the fact um sheet um earlier on in this video and this movie definitely is i feel for like the teenage generation or the teenage years but more so for the teenagers from like when i was a kid right i don't know if this movie is going to or has I haven't really heard like too too many people like oh my god like younger people you know talking about austin powers but then again i don't get out in the world so don't don't quote me on that i don't know the kids from today probably won't like it because they get offended by everything i feel like this the time frame for this particular movie has kind of passed and if you loved it from when it came on good for you you know that's gonna be the love you're gonna have but maybe kind of try to re-watch it if you haven't watched it since you were like a kid or like when you were younger and just kind of see how you feel about it now i'm sure you're still gonna have like the nostalgia love for it i didn't laugh on the movie did i laugh i may have heckled i did like seth green he was you know he was he, uh, yeah um but i guess my favorite scene is probably with like the killer women the robotic women and when Austin is seducing them to be destroyed because he's just so irresistible to women, he basically dances and they get destroyed and, 
you know it was it was it was entertaining enough i'm not gonna lie um but i think that was definitely my favorite scene uh, dr evil obviously i do love him as well i feel like he definitely was the standout for me like kiss scenes were definitely more tolerable even when i was younger this movie or these movies just never ever ever called my attention i never wanted to go to the theater to watch it mind you we really didn't go to the theater much when we were younger rather whenever we would go to blockbuster and i would see it there i never wanted to rent it i was just like now let's move past and see what else we can um grab so before i do give you my score on austin powers international man of mystery if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new now i'm not really trying to talk shit about this movie you guys because again i know that this has like love fans and everything and you you love it you have the nostalgia and love for it i just was linked to the game for it we're not even linked to the game i just never wanted to see this movie okay i just it never really caught my attention and i was like but today i'm like let's go ahead and check it out let's see what it's all about and it has officially confirmed that this movie is just not for me uh again i do love these kind of spoof movies i i love them but just this particular way that this was done is just really not for me it's not really my type of humor because again i love comedy movies i do love mike myers as well i'm not gonna lie i haven't even seen wayne's world i probably will see that at some point and review it here as well but again it's just like his humor it's just really not for me kind of like borat uh, Sasha, uh baron cohen i probably should say that better um his humor also is just not for me at the end of the day <sighs> austin powers international man of mystery i'm going to give it a small popcorn no 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 shade on the movie again i'm sure teenage you is like why stephanie why and it's already giving me the thumbs down on this video please don't i guess you can i'll appreciate the interaction with the video but let me know down below if you've seen this movie what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you is it something that you maybe saw as a, a teenager preteen a young adult and you know if you've seen it as a grown adult like what are your differences like do you still love it as much or do you just kind of appreciate it because you loved it as a kid let me know down below also let me know where what part mini me comes out in because i i do want to see his <laughs> i do want to see a movie with him because i i know that there's that scene that you see all over like social media does seth green also come on all of them i don't know does he ever become a vet I don't know i i like seth green there's it was funny though i, I guess i thought it was also funny when he like you haven't been around but it's like dude like i'm sure they told you that he was outer in outer space like frozen and i wish i was never artificially made and he has like his temper tantrum um i guess it had more than one little i it was more like a heckle you guys it was a heckle all right guys that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys in my concessions bye